Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. We were discussing about matplotlib package and in the previous tutorial we discussed about keyword arguments in plot function. Today also we are continuing the discussion on this keyword argument and we are discussing about alpha and zorder argument. So first we'll talk about the alpha argument. Using this argument we can adjust the transparency of a graph plot. So it makes plots prettier by softening the colors and we can take the float value as alpha values and we can take the value from 0 to 1. The default value is 1. So let's see the example. So in the python file here I'll use the plot function. Let's take x and y value. Next here I'll take alpha. I'll take alpha as 0.5 as I said we can take the alpha value from 0 to 1 so I'll take it as 0.5 and I'll save this and run this it is plt and here we can see the soft line if you can't see the difference let's increase the line width by 30 and here we can see so if you want to see the difference, I'll take another set of data and for that I won't take the alpha value. Okay, so it will take the default value. Right, so here I took 10, 20, 30, 40 as the y coordinate value. So it will take the default x coordinate value line width is 30 and here I'm not taking the alpha value. So it will take the default value 1. And here we can see the difference between these two, right? So the second set of data that is mentioned in the orange color is darker than this line, right? If I didn't take alpha, here we can see the color. So I hope you can see the difference when I used alpha and when I didn't use alpha. And if I take alpha as zero and if I execute this, it won't show the plot transparency is full so it won't show any plot here so if i take 0.25 so it is little lighter than the 0.5 value if you want it here also you can use alpha as 0.5 right you can see the difference right so we can use alpha argument to adjust the transparency of the plot. The value ranges from 0 to 1 and 0 being fully transparent that is nothing but invisible and 1 being the entirely opaque and reducing the alpha value make your plot see through. Alright so this is about the alpha argument. Next let's talk about the Zorder argument. This argument let us decide which plots will show up in the front and which one need to be sent to back. So this is useful when we are plotting multiple set of data in single plot. It will helpful to set the order of that plot. So let's see the example. Here we can see we have two set of data. So I'll take different value here like 10, 20, 80, 90. So we have two set of data here 10, 20, 80, 90 for the y coordinate value and the next set of data 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay. So now I'll remove this alpha. I don't want to soften the color. Okay. So I won't take that. So now if I save this and run this. Here we can see in this value 10 and 20 both these plots are joining right. And here we can see the second plot is in the front and this blue color uh, plot is in the back. If you want to change the order of this, then you can use this order argument. If I give the larger value to this order, it will be present closer to the front. That means it will present at front and the plot with the smaller value will be present at the back. So for example, here we can see this second set of data that that is orange color is in the front and blue color is in the back. If I want to change that here I can use order. I can give the order. I want first set of data in the front. So I need to give the 
larger value to this and here i'll take smaller value one okay so one is smaller value so now if i save this and run this and here we can see now the blue color the first set of data is in the front and the second set of data that is in the orange color is in the back in this way we can change the order of the plot let's take another example so i'll take value as 0 0 for x coordinate y coordinate minus 1 and 1 here also i'll take different set of data minus 1 comma 1 minus 1 comma 1 and we'll take another set of data here i'll take 1 comma minus 1 if i didn't take this order if i save this and run this sorry use comma between x and y coordinate here we can see three set of data and here we can see the green one that is the third set of data is in the front and second set of data is in the middle and the first set of data is in the back so if you want to change the order you need to use z order or z order so i need this front so i'll take the maximum value i'll take two and i'll take this as one now here we can see the first set of data is in the front right blue color is in the front now i can take this as three and this as two this is in the front now okay so in this way we can change the order of the plot okay so this is about zorder and alpha so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care